Hey everybody, okay. I'm trying to be quiet because my husband is sleeping and this is not a big place that we're staying at, so hopefully you guys can hear me. Um, I finished the one envelope, so I do have the two windows decorated and uh, this one I just measured where the window was made my measurements of where I wanted this, got my four sides, connected the dots, cut it out, rounded the corners just with my scissors. Um, then I fussy cut, let's see if I can get it in there, I fussy cut the flowers and the butterfly and this section here, bring it back, this section here I just uh, figured out where I wanted it width-wise and cut up to where I wanted it height-wise and came back down, cut that section out, then I took the little section for the bottom off of that strip that I took off and put it here and then I decor cut out with the flowers. And unfortunately this lantern was right here on this slip of paper. so. I didn't want to lose the lantern, so I fussy cut out a little bit and extended this branch across into the window a little bit, and I have my lantern. So I think that came out really cute. Um, I found a piece of junk mail, actually, that I got in the mail today, and I folded it because I'm going to make a little pocket. But uh, So using that junk mail as it comes in. So you guys check your mail every day. You never know what crafting supplies you're gonna be getting. <laughs> and then I um, put this on the back of the envelope. I love the, uh, the colors that are everywhere. And I was kind of hoping that this would look like her hair was extending, but I think I'm gonna need to do something in this little transition area right here. And the other thing that I did was I used, because this this piece I cut, I wanted, I wanted to keep this butterfly on this piece for a pocket or whatever. So I just figured I was going to cut that. I left the half inch uh, barcode strip on because on this side it, it had the blue, you know, paper on it. The other side has the barcode. Um, so I used that, and in order to finish up my height of my paper, I went ahead and used a piece of this strip. I also cut out another piece of the strip for the second envelope. So now um, I'm going to go along with you on the second envelope so you can see how I did this, because I went ahead and did, um, I wanted to have for this to be, you know, right here. And I like the idea of having these two look the same and be like a double pocket page. But then you've got the surprise of the flip. So that's where we're at. So I'm gonna put this over here. And this is my piece of paper that's going on here. And it is a little wide. And so basically that is it for that page. Just cut it down. But the one thing we gotta do is our little dip. So let's go ahead and get this on the line on the on the side here and on the bottom where you're gonna want it. Get your pencil and let's give it a little cut so that we have it as wide as we want it for the whole page. There we go. I think I can toss that, but it won't get tossed tossed because I, I may need it later. All right, going through the paper like crazy, that's for sure. Okay, so now we have a very nice cut, but we have this. And so the first thing I want to do 
is I want to measure in how deep this is. And this is between 5 eighths and 3 quarters. It's right in, in the middle, so it's whatever that 16th would be. So that's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11 sixteenths. Okay, so I want to, this is where this is going to go, and I want to measure in 11 sixteenths, or right in between 5 eighths and 3 quarters. All right, and then we're going to make a mark, and I'm going to try and figure out where my center is. Okay, then I'm going to take the same roll that I had, and I'm going to line it up. I'm putting this paper right where it's going to go, and I want to have it even on the mark I made and then even on both sides of this and we should end up getting okay let's think about this for a second I'm gonna make a second mark at one eighth of an inch down okay so now I'm going to put Make sure this hasn't moved. I'm going to put my circle down, this piece down, on the second mark I made because we do want to have a little green border. Make sure you have even amounts, oops, even amounts on both sides. That looks good. That looks good. And I'm on the mark. Okay, so let's make that. Get your scissors out and cut this out. So that's how I got, and then we're just going to cut right on the pencil line. So let's see how well we did. Okay, yeah, that's not too bad. I do need to erase these pencil marks that I had made. Come on, get off of there. This is the only eraser I brought, and it's not really working on the uh, Distress Oxide. Seems to want to keep a hold of that a little bit better, so probably a kneading eraser or um, maybe an eraser with a little bit of sand. The sand erasers, you can get those at uh, Michael's, I believe. Okay, so there is that cut out for our pocket. So I'm happy with that. Get, get a little, little bit of a pencil mark left on my paper, which the pencil marks do not come out of this paper at all. <laughs> Very well. It leaves an indention for sure, for sure. Okay, so this, I'm gonna move on. This will be glued down and this will be glued down. So you saw how I did that. I'm going to just put this over to the side. Okay. Now, we're going to flip this over. So, we're going to be flipping it this way. Okay, so this, this is where our spine needs to attach. And uh, then we have our window, and the opening is over here. Okay, so... I haven't really thought about what I was going to put in this window or what I was going to do, but I was talking 
to one of my Facebook friends, Judy, and I said, you know, it might be interesting to do some kind of interactive thing. And I don't know if I'm going to do it on this one because I don't have a lot of room. And, and so I think not for this one, but I will probably do one of the windows with some interactivity to it. I think that would be fun. Yeah, most definitely. Okay, but for this one, um, again, I think I'm going to go to uh, one of these papers. And let's see what I've got here. That's standing in the wrong direction. Let's see what do I have here. It's the wrong way. Uh, let's see, what does this one look like? See, we've got purple in this paper, so the purple would possibly do pretty nicely. Move my book back. Yeah, I kind of like that. I kind of like that. And that gives me the roses on both sides. That's very pretty. Okay, so let's get this one cut and then see what else we're going to do. And I have this as a straight, nice, pretty edge on the envelope. And I also have a little bit of a white edge here I'm going to cut off before... I get to measuring things. Just a little bit. There we go. Okay. So, I still have my mark somewhere right here. Let's give this a cut. put this, uh, my, my cutter over on the uh, couch. <laughs> I'm sitting at the nice little round dining room table that's in the house. And I'm just wondering if I want to cut off a little bit of this and really make it even on both sides. That I think would be prettier. So I'm going to eyeball what I think is center. And let's go ahead and cut these down. <clears throat> I think that would be more, more interesting. More interesting, darling. All right, let's see. Right there. Okay, now I gotta tell you guys. So when I used to live down here in Florida. I went to a card club. And the card club was at a mom and pop. Um, well, it's just mom. But, you know, a uh, uh, individually owned craft store. And so um, the lady that owns the craft store contacted me and said, Hey, I got a storage facility, um, what do you call that? A, uh, yeah, a room in a storage facility, whatever. And that it is full of stuff and she needs to get rid of it all because she needs to close the storage unit. I guess they're raising the prices or something. I, I, I'm not exactly sure why, but, um, and she said, so, if you want to come and look. Now, this lady has tons of antique lace, French lace. Oh, man, you just mentioned, you just name it. She's got it. Well, oh, she had a shop for over 20-something years. So, yeah, very interested in that. So, I will let you guys know that is next Wednesday. So, and I'm, I think maybe it's this coming Wednesday, because this will probably air Monday, I think. It's, uh, it's Friday night, 
here, um, the 7th, I think. And, uh, no, Thursday night, yes. Um, but next Wednesday, I'll go uh, over and visit all those gals. But we're going to meet, and I'm so excited, so excited. Yes, so I will keep you all apprised. I did do some shopping, and um, uh, at my favorite little haunt. Okay, um, getting back to work here. Now this is the top, okay? Here's the opening of our pocket. So now, I went ahead and inked all around the pocket. So now I'm gonna set this paper in, you know, where I, where I know I'm gonna want it, but I've got it where I can see the pocket. And I'm going to make some marks here just so I know that that is how wide I want it. Now, I'm going to set the paper this way. Make sure it's straight all the way on both sides so you know that you're getting it somewhat straight to make your marks. And then I'm gonna make a mark here and a mark here. I'm leaving about um, an eighth to a sixteenth of an inch uh, from the, you know, outside edge of the pocket, the window. The, yeah, the window pocket. The window. It's not a pocket. That's a pocket, but the window's not a pocket. So. Blah. <laughs> okay, so now I have kind of my, you know, my space that I know that I'm going to do this in. Um, if there were, if, if there's no plastic in here, you could slide this in and run your page, you know, your, your pencil around the opening and then cut to the outside of that. And then you would get a little bit of a green border around your pocket. Um, but since there is plastic there, I can't do that. So we're going to get our ruler and see where to put all my marks. I've lost them. I've lost them. Where are my marks? Okay, there's one, there's two, and there's three. Okay, so Let's first, I'm lining this up on my grid so I know that my paper is nice and straight. Okay. Well, it's actually not very nice and straight. It's not too terribly off, but it is off a little bit. But, you know, these pockets are sometimes, I mean, uh, envelopes are sometimes pretty off. So now I'm going to line my ruler up on my grid as well as on the line here and I'm just going to kind of guesstimate that it's here and I'm going to run my line down to where I have this line which is just past uh, this mark on the this half inch mark so it's three-eighths of an inch up from the edge. So I have one, two, three, and I do that right there. Okay, so I have my first line. I hope you all are following this. And this is how wide I want it to be. So now I'm going to use my grid and get my ruler straight and on the mark. And find my line here, and then go across that way. And I will make, let's get this lined up. Let's, let's move it up here. So we've got everything there, everything there. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I am going to line my lineup 
and I have that right there and that right there so that's nice and straight and I'm going to follow my line down again to 3 8 of an inch from the bottom. Okay, and then let's line this up again. Just make sure it's nice and straight on something. Okay, and I have my two points. And actually, what you can do with this is actually hold it up three eighths. That's the nice thing about having the Timmy ruler. Okay. Now I wanted to double check three eighths on here. Yep, that's going to be very nice. Okay. So now we have our box. I, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but you can see my pencil line there. But you saw me just do it. So now I'm going to get my scissors and I'm just going to start in the center and I think I definitely want to save these roses so that I can cut them out for other things so that's why I kind of started up here in the middle if you want to save the whole thing to use as a frame or something like that um, then you can take your pokey tool and poke in one of the corners and then poke again until it's large enough that you can get your scissors in there to start and start right on the line and then you won't waste you know all of this um, but I, I know I'm going to be cutting these roses out so I know I won't have a, a whole uh, a whole thing to use for something else but if your paper isn't going to be that way, then just try and cut your whole square out or rectangle so that you can reuse that bit of paper someplace else. Yay! And another thing that you can do, just an FYI, let me finish this. Another thing you can do, if you want to, and this would be where you would have to start, is you can just flip this up like this, so then you have a, a very easy interactive pocket, or picture, window picture, um, but I don't believe I'm going to do that, especially since I cut into it, but um, you certainly can do that, and that may be part of what we do a little later on when I come to one I think I'll do well and I'm sorry for the lighting guys I'm doing the best I can with what I have um, and I hope you can hear me okay so I'm gonna save this because I know I'm gonna use those flowers now let's bring our envelope back and see how well we did okay so this side's great. This can take a little bit more off and this can come off a little bit more. So I am going to see, put my pencil marks again. There we go. Cause it starts out nice here, but then turns not, not so great. And then here, let's get this lined up again because I just moved it. So basically, you know, it's just kind of trial and error, just playing around with stuff until you get it the way you want it. And actually, I think I'm just going to cut this. I think I'm going to leave it because I, I like... It, it's pretty even except for this and I'm not cutting much off 16th maybe maybe a 32nd and then 
clip that little bugger off of there. Okay, I think we're ready. But anyway, see, it's it's a little tedious, but it's not hard. It's not hard. And then we have a beautiful pocket. Beautiful. And then, actually, how fun would that be? Yeah, it would have to come up some. Oh, how fun would that be? Isn't that cool? And I can kind of make that paper look like it doesn't have a cut, the cut in it. I love that. That is so cool. That is so cool. Okay, so cool beans. I'm going to go ahead because I think that, that is all I'm going to do. Now, I can put a pocket in here. So I need, huh, let's see. This is a little bit of purple, but not really the same kind of purple. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Blah, 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 yung, yung, yung. Um, okay, okay. Hmm. Well, I have a little piece of blue, no way. How about a little piece of green? Do I have a little piece? I can cut off a little piece here. The green might look nice. I think. I'm just going to take a, a piece that's going to be a half an inch off on both sides, a half an inch wider than this piece, and that I'm going to go ahead and cut. Oh, no. First, I'm going to cut this at, um, let's see, where's my mark? What did I do with my mark? Uh-huh. Oh, right here. Okay, so this side. I'm going to cut this side at three-quarters of an inch. Three-quarters of an inch. Okay, there's that, and now I'm going to cut at my mark. Okay, and now I did not bring my craft knife, so this is going to be interesting. Um, let's see, since we don't have a craft knife, I know somewhere I have a pokey tool. What did I do with my pokey tool? Oh boy, it's always the way in it, guys. <laughs> I don't know what I did with my pokey tool. I mean, I don't have much space here, so it's all kind of, uh... oh, I do know. Okay, I will be back in just a second. Simultaneously. Okay, so I have put this little piece that I cut out using my grid. I'm going to make some holes on either end. And I'm gonna poke through that little hole I just made. Then I'm going to take my scissors, and normally if you have your craft knife, go for it and do it that way. But I'm going to take my scissors first, because you know me in straight, I think that would be very silly of me. 
I'm going to go from the top of each hole with my ruler, leave just a little edge of that hole open so you can get your pencil in there. So from hole to hole, I'm making some lines. Top of, you know, after I flip it over, then find the top of your holes again. And hole to hole. Now, get your scissor in there and carefully start cutting on that line. And this is pretty tough cardstock, so it's probably not going to be as pretty as if I had my craft knife, but we're going to make it work. Junk journal style, ladies. Junk journal style. Okay, so there's one side. And then just stay on your line. Take your time. I don't know how much more time I've got on my phone, so we're going to just flip right through this thing. Okay. Um, let me take my tool and kind of get that paper all laying down nicely again. And I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to just put a little bit of a very easy decoration on the edges here. So you can see that. All right. So now I'm going to stick this so it's kind of a half an inch on each side of my paper. Find where I'm happy with it. I'm going to move this envelope for a minute and I'm going to set this up on my grid so I know I've got it nice and straight. And I'm going to find a line and I'm going to find my center of my paper through that. And then all I'm going to do is take my pencil and mark that opening, both top and bottom. And then I'm going to stick my scissors right in the center and get started where I can cut that. And then we will glue that down and then glue our paper down and glue our pocket inside. And then this page will get, I mean this envelope will get added to our Okay, so this should fit right in there very nicely. All right, so, um, and I tell you, if I had brought some stamps, I would probably stamp on this a little bit just to kind of break up it being a plain piece of cardstock. And I'm also going to cut just a sliver off of this. It's just a little bit longer on one side. There, that's good. I actually did that pretty straight. Okay, so let's get this glued on. I have to keep my eye on the time. And there we go. Okay, so there's that. Get our envelope back and let's glue this. Now remember, we want there to be a pocket through here, so we can't glue down anything but the very bottom. 
Now you can glue up the sides a little bit so that your if you put smaller tags in there, they won't like all of a sudden disappear. So you can do that. Glue up top, all the way around this. Come on, Nick Nick. Nikki coming out to join me instead of being in with Papa. Okay, let's get the glue all the way around. Okay, so here we go. And remember that the most important is setting up that pocket. The rest of it can all kind of be taken care of. That looks very nice. There we go. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna bring this back out and I'm gonna take a piece of scrap. Let's see. I'm just gonna take a piece of scrap here and I'm gonna glue it down. And I'm going to glue it down really, really well all around the edges because I don't want it to catch on things that I'm actually putting into my pocket. And what is... I'm going to clip off this little edge here. There we go. So, I'm going to give this something to... glue to. Oh yeah, that's going to really, that's going to really help it. Get the, another little piece here. See, there's always a way of fixing things. And then that goes right there. And let's burnish this and get that glue all over. Okay, it looks like I still have a little piece, didn't have any glue on it. There we go. Okay. So now, can we see? It doesn't even look like there's any cut in there. Very nice. Superb, superb. Okay, so this is then going to go... right like that. So I am just going to put glue on the top edge all the way around. Just be nice and steady with your hands and just get it on the edge. Try not to get it up any higher. You know, out into the center of your because you don't want the glue to show on your plastic window. Now if you don't have a plastic window, you know, you can just wipe your glue off, so that's not a problem. All right, so, ah, and of course, what did I do? I got it on my plastic window. Well, we knew that was going to happen, didn't we? Over, and I do want to get this off of here best I can. It does dry clear. Okay, so. There we go. Guys, isn't that cool? It gives it depth. Gives it depth. I'm sorry for the lighting. And then we've got a nice pocket here that we will be able to slide a little tag into. Love it. Love it. And then of course we still need to have something for in here. But we will find something for that. So that is our back side and then I will be, I went over oh, sorry. I went over the front side with you. Where's my little strip? Here it is. 
and then this will be the front side right like that <clears throat> and we're going to put it down oh. yeah we're going to put it down onto this page and I believe no that's not my strip I thought I had already cut a blue strip well this is probably long enough so I'm going to score this at a half an inch score tool going to fold that and we're going to glue let's see we're going to glue ah, this is the way that it's going to flip so we're going to put this on here okay so let's open it up and put your glue on the one side And we're just going to lay it right down on the side opposite of our pocket of our window. I'm so sorry, but it is opposite the pocket as well. Make sure that it is closing nicely around the pocket. And let's burnish that down. All right. Now we can put this down. And that blue just kind of gets lost. Can't really see it. Okay, so we're going to place, yeah, place this down. Okay, and then minus putting the strip on there, okay, we're just going to glue this. Let's close this window and glue this down. I want this, oh, there it is. I want this envelope, which is tiny, just a bit smaller than the bottom envelope. So I want to find my center just like that. I'm hoping that these line up very nicely. And then flip it over, open it up, and it's not straight. Let me, since I've moved it, I'm going to flip it back over and see where I'm at. Okay, I need to slide it back down just a little bit. No, up, there we go. Okay, let's try this again, flip it over. Yeah, that looks good, that looks good. And then just put your glue down. Sorry, flip it back. And our page, other than my little strip, which will go right here and line up with this one, just like that. Um, and then we find something for in here. And so that is our page, which will get glued into our book. 
All right, guys, thanks so much for joining me. Mwah. Love you so much, and we will talk again real soon. Bye.